Hello everyone and welcome back to Drama Made Simple. On this channel we do all things acting, method acting, acting techniques. So if you want to see other videos like that, I highly suggest that you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. In this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the books um, about method acting that I think are really important for any actor and they take into account the the original way that method acting came about as well as some of the big hitting names in method acting over the years. The first person of interest is of course Konstantin Stanislavski and he was the original person for method acting. In the early 20th century he opened the Moscow Art Theatre and developed a more naturalistic style of acting that has come to shape the whole form of modern acting. There are three main books associated with Stanislavski. The first is An Actor Prepares, which focuses on the mental skill that an actor needs in order to successfully, naturalistically act on stage. The second is Building a Character, which focuses on the physical skill that an actor needs. And the third is Creating a Role, which focuses on the conceptual skill that an actor needs. One of the main focuses of method acting is that actors should live truthfully in imagined given circumstances and Stanislavski's system helps actors to do that. I've done several videos on method acting in general and explaining Stanislavski's system so if you want to see those videos I'll have those linked down below. If those three books that I mentioned can be a little bit hard to follow. They were translated from some of Stanislavski's writings in Russian. And many people opt for a more summarizing book on Stanislavski such as The Complete Stanislavski Toolkit by Bella Merlin um, as that just gives a better insight for some people into the overall Stanislavski system rather than taking each piece. More recently there's been a new translation by John Benedetti. Um, so she translated the first two books, An Actor Prepares and Building a Character, into a book called An Actor's Work, and then more recently has translated the third book, Creating a Role, into An Actor's Work on a Role. So a lot of people have said that these are a lot more easy to understand and easy to utilise, so that's the recommendation by a lot of people for the ones that you should choose. But in either sense, I definitely feel like a book on Stanislavski is key for understanding method acting because he was the first person to really bring it about. There are a lot of other names that I will mention in this video that are associated with method acting because of learning from Stanislavski or by de developing his system for their own personal taste. So one of those is Michael Chekhov, who was the nephew, I think, of Anton Chekhov, and he was a student of Stanislavski as well and he developed more of a psychophysical approach to acting. And it focused on the mind, body, and conscious awareness of the senses. His book is, is called To the Actor, and people who followed his method are actors such as Clint Eastwood, Jack Nicholson, and Anthony Hopkins. Um, he was one of the people that kind of changed Stanislavski's view on acting because one of the things in Stanislavski's original system was emotion memory and that's something that I talked about in a different video and I'll have that linked for you. And emotion memory or emotional recall or effective memory is a very sort of controversial aspect of method acting because people feel that it can be quite harmful because you're delving into your own emotions when you're acting. So Michael Chekhov's approach was to use more of a imagination and a famous sort of interaction that he and Stanislavski had was that Stanislavski watched him in a performance where he's meant to be very upset and he said that he drew on the emotions from his father's funeral in order to create the sense on stage but Stanislavski then found out that Anton or er, Michael Chekhov's father wasn't in fact dead but that he was imagining his father's funeral on stage and that was what caused him to become so upset. And this sort of changed Stanislavski's mind on using necessarily true emotions on stage and leading to more of an imagination-based approach. So the Moscow Art, Art Theatre was around, um, sort of around the 1900s, and a couple decades later, the Moscow Art Theatre travelled to the United States, where they influenced a lot of different acting coaches and actors there. And a lot of these um, acting coaches or actors took a different approach to Stanislavski's system, they took elements from it, which was what Stanislavski originally had wanted, was for people to be able to take elements that worked for them. 
So Lee Strasberg is one of the most famous names in method acting and his approach was heavily based on the emotion recall or effective memory use. His book is known as A Dream of Passion. So as I said, his approach is heavily involved with um, the use of emotion memory, which a lot of people now feel isn't the best thing to do because it can be quite harmful. Um, but I still think it's an interesting book to read and reading about the approach is quite interesting as well. Some of the actors that have worked with him were Marilyn Monroe, Al Pacino and Alec Baldwin. Another famous name in method acting specifically is Sanford Meisner and his book is called On Acting. So his approach was more of a practical based approach and he's famous for this repetition exercise where two actors repeat the same phrase um, between each other until it becomes somewhat meaningless but then the true emotions and the true meaning of what you're saying kind of comes about. His approach is meant to build openness, flexibility and listening skills for the actors. As I mentioned, his book is called On Acting and I think that's a really great one to read. Stanford Meisner is one of the biggest names in method acting, as I said as well. Some people that trained with him were Grace Kelly and Diane Keaton. And then we also have Stella Adler who wrote the book The Art of Acting. Stella Adler was one of the people who very much disagreed with the use of emotion memory and emotion recall. She felt that it was very wrong and that it wasn't the way that actors should go about because it could be very damaging. So she felt that there must be a different way for people to be able to act truthfully without using their own emotions and bringing those up on stage. She actually went to see Stanislavski to ask him about this. And at this point, Stanislavski had worked with Michael Chekhov and had sort of changed his views. Stella Adler was actually the only big name in method acting in out of these Americans who actually trained with Stanislavski and got his sort of stamp of, appro of approval before making her version of his system. So she favoured the use of imagination over emotional recall, it's kind of similar to Michael Chekhov, because she believed that drawing on your own emotions was unhealthy, so her version was a lot more based on imagination. And actors who worked with her were Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro and Mark Ruffalo. So I think Marlon Brando is, is often associated with the Strasbourg method, but actually he was one of the people that really disagreed with the use of emotion recall as well. And he was much more happy to use more of an imagination based approach. The last person that I want to mention as a big name in method acting and the book to read is Uta Hagen and her book Respect for Acting. Her approach was all about substituting your own experiences, emotions, sensations that you felt and visuals for different experiences for the character in place of the given circumstances. So a lot of her exercises were based on substitution, whether that's sort of finding an image that will substitute something that you need to think of on stage or having a version of an object that will be in place of another one. The use of different emotions and experiences that you've had as well as the use of sense memory, so trying to remember different sensations you felt and using those on stage as well. I think her approach to emotion recall is a lot less extreme than Strasbourg's because it recommends not going into any too traumatic memories, especially ones that you haven't been able to openly speak about with different people and that you should talk them through with a friend, sort of try and remember all of the different things that happened during that experience. She also says that substituting in an imagined circumstance is also a good way to go. That's the last book that I think you should read based on different method acting approaches. All of them are useful in their own right. I think the best thing to do would be to, if you don't want to read all of them, um, then you should find out as much as you can about each one and see which one would be right for you, which approach seems like something that you, you understand the most. As I said, I've done already some videos all about Stanislavski's system. I've mostly been focused on the book An Actor Prepares, and I'm starting to do some more on the books, creating a role and building a character. So if you want to see more videos like that, I highly recommend that you would subscribe and hit the notification bell. In future, I also hope to do some more videos about some of these other names that I've talked about. A lot of these books that I've talked about are on my reading list for the next year. 
so I will be able to talk about the different approaches that they used and different ways that I think I'd be able to use them and that you guys might be able to use as well. So if you want to hear stuff like that, I really recommend you subscribe because otherwise you might never see them. So that's all for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.